Weather Authority Forecast with meteorologist Melissa Hall. Well, this week I've kind of felt like a broken record talking about afternoon pop-up shower chances and how they're all over the seven-day forecast. Well, today, actually, a little bit of a different story. Look at this shot from Whitney Mountain Lodge there near Garfield. The storms are starting to move in. And this is what we're looking like for parts of the area through the morning. Now, the good news, in the River Valley where you really don't need any more rain, this system, it's weakening as it comes in. So not going to affect you. And if it does bring any rain to you, it's just going to clip portions of the east of your area because of how it's tracking. But like I said, it is starting to break apart and fall apart as it does come in. But we still see a few strikes of lightning out there with it. And even though this is the 40% chance of rain that we see, we do have that chance of rain for the afternoon as well. And those storms are looking to be a little bit stronger because once this system pushes through, we're going to have the sun trying to come back out. And when it does, it's going to act like fuel and it's going to give energy to those storms this afternoon. And when they start to pop up, they could be on the strong side. Now, the good news is that marginal risk just clipping portions of the farthest pieces of the north part of our area. Most of us are in the non-severe risk. So wow, how does this work? What's going on? Well, things are warmer. We've got those clouds outside. Most of us are two, three, four degrees warmer. Some even a little bit more than that. But the thing is, those temperatures, since they didn't cool down because of those clouds, when the sun comes out this afternoon and we have that wind from the south bringing more humidity, more energy, well, the atmosphere is full. So when these storms do start to take off this afternoon, they could be on the strong side. But don't worry, we're not expecting widespread severe weather. And you're still going to need the sunscreen if you head out to the pool because, like I said, that sun will come out. And that's part of the problem is as that sun comes out, it's going to get these storms really popping. And this afternoon, that 40% that we had in the morning becomes a 30%, but those storms could have some very heavy downpours. And they're not just going to be in the high altitudes. They could happen anywhere. So that leads us to having a chance for localized flash flooding with this. That's our big concern. That's that marginal risk. There's the heavy downpours because the atmosphere is so full of moisture. Another thing, those winds. Notice 15 miles an hour, it's going to get a little breezy at times and a lot of energy. So lightning, definitely a factor. And just yesterday, we saw one person killed by lightning, not here in Arkansas, but a lot of people don't think about it. And that is a very big concern. Now through the evening, if you have friends coming over, maybe you're gonna continue celebrating the 4th. Well, we don't cool down much. And actually those shower chances, they're gonna stick around for a while. We're gonna keep them all the way through Saturday. Now the good news, by Sunday, they're back to just PM. Saturday and today, they could happen anytime. But by Sunday and Monday, back to that just afternoon pop-up shower chance. And then we go from worrying about storms to talking about the heat again. Look at this, Caitlin. The hottest temperatures we've seen so far this year, we're gonna be close to a hundred next week. And not just the temperature saying it's 100 on that thermometer, but unfortunately, you've been in Arkansas long enough. You know how this works. When the thermometer says that it's 98 or 92 in northwest Arkansas, you know it's going to be feeling a lot hotter than that. And those heat index values in the triple digits could have us with a heat advisory by this time next week, even the middle part of next week. My goodness, it's going to be very, very warm. Melissa, thanks.